Hi, welcome to my channel, Linda Learns to Color. Um, I'm on my coloring journey of learning to color by adding more depth and dimension to my coloring. And um, I'm not very good at it, so hopefully with practice. But in today's video, I told you, I mentioned in my haul video that I had a story to go with this. Uh, I was really excited to find this at Half Price Books for $9.99. I had checked, you know, online and I couldn't find it. And if I did find it, it was kind of expensive. Um, but it's a lovely book. I love that it shows, um, I'm not, I didn't buy it for, to learn how to draw, but the color schemes and I just loved all the, the fairies and orbs and yeah, so I, I just thought it was beautiful. Let me see if I can find some of the pages. So I haven't read it yet. It kind of squeaks so I can read it at night, but isn't it gorgeous? Look at that, so beautiful. So anyway, I found, um, I found this book and then the name looked familiar. So I went online to find out if um, you could get coloring books of these. They're just so gorgeous. And lo and behold, I'm not going to believe they, she has, so my great find ended up being a little bit expensive because I ended up finding all her coloring books. And I think they came around to be like $14 each plus um, shipping, which was kind of expensive. So I got her collection of books. I was just going to get one or two, but then I thought, well, I'm gonna have to pay shipping again. And so I just went ahead and got them all. I actually bought these last month. So this month for the month of April, I've actually been really good. I haven't bought any coloring books because I kind of went wild last month. And so I said in April, I'm not going to buy any coloring books unless it's one that's pre-ordered and happens to, to come out in April. But, um, so I've been really good and all the hauls and everything that you're seeing this month are, cause I went a little bit wild last month. So I needed to chill out and I, um, I bought a few things this month, but most everything, if it's a coloring book was bought last month. So I thought we would go through the books. They are so gorgeous. So there's this one. This is book one. And this is made on 300 GSM paper for a professional artist finish. Um, far from professional, but yeah, I feel kind of like I shouldn't really have these books because they're so, I mean, the paper is so beautiful. So the paper is really thick. And like this one's pretty, pretty detailed right there. But I just fell in, oops, sorry. I just fell in love with all the, the illustrations. There are some that aren't my style, but most of them are. So I figure the ones that aren't my style too much, I can always use those for practice. Sorry about the moving around. Hopefully it's light enough in here. We have overcast day today in Texas. But it's beautiful because it's cool and it's a cool, a cooler day. See, I have no idea. Like, these are so dark already. How do you even get some color on there? But I am going to have to search YouTube and see if I could find some tutorials. This one's funny. The Nothing to Do Fairy. So they have, like, little captions right here. Like, Waiting for Neptune. This one has some little, like, lizard dragons in there. And this one reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. I'm sure that's where she got the inspiration for this one because it says a mad tea party. So I think some of these were taken from her watercolor art, I believe. And that's just so cute. Look at these faces. These are gonna be so fun to color. And look at that, it's a dragon and a little fairy girl having tea and it says tea for two. I mean this paper is just wonderful. And I don't know how to say that one. 
And look at this little guy. He's so cute. And then the tree and the door. Just a little bit of everything in that one. I think that's the last page. I don't like how up here she always has something like this one says, For John, my rock. And this one was published in 2015. And here's the back. Isn't that just gorgeous? So that's book one. Book two, look at that cover. Oh, and they're all autographed. I forgot to tell you that. So I thought that was pretty neat. Isn't that just gorgeous? All these leaves. I love these ones. Although they are kind of empty right here, but that'll be great to do a nice pretty background. Or if you um, doodle and draw, I'm not very good at it. I gotta practice that too. Isn't that gorgeous? And this one's the Queen of Leaves. This one doesn't have a name. I like this one. Oh, I'm so sorry. I gotta stop doing that. Look at that. Isn't that just so cute? I just want to go inside there and, yeah, sit down at the little table and chop some vegetables. This one's so cute. I like this one too. It's so beautiful. I love all the little branches it's called little fawn oh yeah there's little this one's interesting the oak king <clears throat> this one's so cute the up to no good fairy that is so cute look at just little little band-aids and then I really like this one. Look at all these little, what are, oh, they're goblins. Well, that means they're not very nice, huh? Maybe they're nice goblins. And this one's 2016. It's the second one. And here's the third. Sorry about the glare. And this first one is called Daydreams. Isn't that just gorgeous? How cute. This one's very in my pocket. Be fun to do a neat background. I gotta learn how to do some backgrounds. And then this guy, he's so cute. Look at that. Rumple stilk skin. And then mushroom. Mushroom houses. I love mushrooms. This one's interesting. This one's not one of my favorites, but still beautiful. This one's neat. You can learn how to do some fairy wings there. It looks like there's some bubbles here. December glow. And then this one's interesting. It has like her, this one's called the fragili fragility of life. And look at this little egg in there. And even though her hands are all branchy and kind of creepy in a way, but I don't think she's, I think she's a nice person. Spirit Walker. Let's check and see who that is in case it's someone coming home. I need to put a little sign on my door, but that's a neighbor. The fairy seasons, so cute, look at this. And then mushrooms, little fairy, a bird. This one has a lot of cute little creatures in there. The maiden. And this one's maiden spring and jack in the green. And this one I'm actually doing a color along and um, you know what, I didn't write the name down and I was thought, of, I thought it was 
oh, um, Zucchini Kitty. Yeah, that's who it is with. And she's using, this is her color palette. And then, so I have everything in here. The only thing about this cute little case is the markers, the Tom, Tombow markers. They don't, I can't close it, but that's okay. I just kind of half close it. So I put all the colors that we are using. I'll leave a link to her channel. But yeah, so we're using um, these pencils. And so I'm having fun following along. I've, so far, I've only done the green colored markers and then I did some of the pencil work and I still, I started yesterday. So hopefully in the next couple of days, I'll finish it. I've just been doing a little bit at a time. So, but it's fun. I'm actually putting some color down. And then, this is so cute. I love, I just love everything about this. All the art supplies. And that's it for that one. Look at Dad, 90 years young. Oops. And this one's 2017. And then this one is book four. This is called The Gray Lady. Oh, look at this one. I love this tree. Look at that. All the mushrooms and the pencil is back there. And there's an owl. Look at this. this is the apple fairy. Draco 2. One day there must have been a Draco 1. Is that a, so is that a goblin or oh it's an elf that's a cute one look at that mother three ages of women words of ladies oh look at she's combing her hair I didn't even realize I don't, I'm going to have to practice coloring uh, peeps, like skin. That looks kind of like the guy that I'm coloring. That would be fun to do, like watercolor distressing. I'm sure most people are using watercolors on these. So, oh, and this one is 2017 as well. Alex, 21, finally got the key to the door. I want to follow, do more, a few more follow-alongs with um, Zucchini Kitty. I hope I got that the name right. I'll also, again, I'll post that down below. This one is book five. Um, I don't like the blood right here. I wonder if I could change that once I know how to do things like that. Oh, I did it again. I'm so sorry. That's the third time I knocked it, but it's because I'm just standing, and this is like right in front of me. It's like right here. This looks like that guy again. Green Man. Lady Autumn. Look at this one. Oh, dragon taking a nap, and look at this one, a little dragonfly. <laughs> A little lizard that flies. Oh, cart. This one says from the original ballpoint pen drawing. This one's from the original ink drawing. And look at this. This was also in this book so cute so what I like about this book it, it has their names oh here it is I think it does like this one says native wise woman um, 
granny godmother. So it has a little bit about them. So it's really neat. There's actually another book. Um, there's two books like this, but I, I went to her site and then they're not, she's not sell. Well, they say sold out. So I was kind of bummed because I would like the other one. So like this one says from the original ink and watercolor painting. Look at that crab legs right there. How scary. This one's beautiful. A fire starter. Oh, she's a, it says bad fairies, I think. From the original ink and watercolor painting. The resting place. Look at this one. It has like, if you look closely, there's, look at there's a little face right there. I didn't even see that one before. There's a little tiny, tiny fairy. Look at all these little hidden, <laughs> look at that mushroom, that nose. That is so funny. This, I like this page. Oh, look at there's another one. Wow, there's more I'm finding. And there's that one, the Queen of Hearts. Sorry if this gets you dizzy going, you know. And this one says, true colors. Don't be afraid to show your true self from the original ink and watercolor painting. are so thick. Oh, that's the end. And that one's from 2018. I think there are 14 illustrations in each book. And this one, I don't like that either. I don't like when they have blood drippings. This is book six. So yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. Uh, I guess that doesn't have to, I don't know what that is, so. This one's a bad hair day. It's so funny, look at their snails. Oh, yucky, I don't like snails. Not in my garden anyway, but I can, I'm okay with coloring them. Just leaves, feathers, just everything. Yep, look at um, twigs. Yep, that's a bad hair day. Cute. Oh, look at the branches even have a face. Oh, I like this one. Of course, there's mushrooms houses up here. Oh, oh it says daisy chains and mushroom homes. Oh, look at that nose. <laughs> so funny. This one's entwined. Looks like, um, looks like a monarch butterfly wing. Maybe I could cover up the drippings right there. I don't know. We'll see. I've never had one with a, um, a pregnant fairy before. Waiting for a miracle. So that's pretty neat. This one's pretty like small areas in there. And if you want to read that... Pause that. I like this one. I like it because of the tree. Tree fawn. Ball pen on paper. Part tree and part elemental being. At one with nature. This little tree fawn sends his love. It's so cute. My healing fairy. This is really cute. Look at that. I wonder if this is like after one of her kids' photos or like a grandchild or something. Winter Spirit. And look at how precious is that. The field poppy fairy. How cute. For Julie and my beautiful grandson, looking to the future with you in mind. And this one's in um, 2020. Maybe that little guy was her grandson. That cute little one right there. And then the last one is this one. This is book seven. The Time Tangler. This one's taken from acrylic painting. Oh gosh, 
gosh, that's the fourth time. I'm so sorry. Dragon feathers. And this guy was in in was in the book too. I'm sure all of these guys are. Oh, look! It says Jack Frost, taken from the fairy artist's figure drawing bible. That's that's this. So I'm so excited that I got that book. I just love it. It's just gorgeous. Oh yeah, and look at there's that little um one that we just saw in the last book. And I think I'm just gonna leave it like this on this book because I keep hitting my the um camera stand. Oh look how cute. And look at that. Oh, maybe I will be careful and just bring it closer so you can see the different. Look how cute. It's not just gorgeous. Look at that. Okay. This is um, Birdie Bookbody. How cute is that? The Librarian. I love that one. Put loose and fancy feet from the original watercolor. And I think that's a selkie, maybe. Queen of Summer. This is Annie Oak, isn't that so cute? Barmaid at the Oak Tree Inn from the Fairy Family. Enchantress. This is from Watercolor on Paper. And that is it, I believe, for my friends who never let me down. This one was in made, this one was put together in 2021. So that is it. Oh, I forgot to show you the backs of them all. That's that one. So there you go. Let me know what you think and if you have any of these. And also, if you have a favorite color along and much appreciate it because I know I'm going to need to do some color alongs and I'm really excited to be coloring that one page I'm actually getting in working in one of my really nice because I consider these super nice coloring books um, I'm actually coloring in it and these markers this is the landscape pack um, they are, they're really nice. I really like this. This is my first pack of Tombow sneak peek of my next haul. Um, and I really like, I really like, I think I'm going to start collecting some more of these. So yeah, that's the backs of them. So there you go. Y'all have a great day. Hope you liked the video and remember to live a, fight, a life filled with color because it's so much prettier that way and y'all have a great day. And until next time, bye.